Oh, fallen star. Grab that, thank you. Oh. Well, look who's here. Uh, I guess we can take a peek at how much we have left. I forget how much, how many caves he said he needed, still. He really should have, uh, sparse them out more. <laughs> yeah, 62. Yeah. South of here, oh, you're saying exactly where ones are. Oh, I see. That's kind of convenient. I could go underneath this platform, but it is, it is, it is up here is sparsely used, <laughs> if that makes sense. And down there, yeah, just a little, this is a camp. That's what I remember mostly, yeah. Hello, you guys sleep on the wall. So that would be a fun picture if uh, Kilton wants some. Or from hanging. Oh, hanging is good too. And I'll keep the old picture, that's better. Wasn't there a stone talus up here in Breath of the Wild? There's a Korok with some materials to weigh down this bit. Is that enough? Yeah, okay. I was about to lift it up and drop it again. Oh, he did say there was a cave in Uncle's navel. We're right there. I guess I'll go do that cave then. Yep, there's one of you. You are going this way. All right, another cave time. Who knows, maybe there is Yiga in this cave. And then we've done well. Ooh. I got an eightfold blade, that's interesting. That's kind of Yiga. Hello. Where's the boobal frog in this cave? It was a straight shot here. Where's it gonna want me to take this? Hmm. Well, I guess let's let's find out. There's also like wooden platforms, which is interesting. Is this gonna open? Is this a door that's gonna open? Oh. Hello. Okay, that's annoying. So I guess the point of... Wouldn't those just get broken by the rocks? Nope. Hmm. See, I don't think there's gonna be Yiga in this cave. Just some rocks to dodge. Oh, that one. Do it. There's a cave over this way. You can sit down right there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I understand. Let me fast, please. Oh, that almost hit me. Oh, it's just, it's just a chest. Another one? I just got one. With... Wait, why is this, well, that one doesn't have, s no, it still does, I think. Yeah, durability, durability doesn't really matter for, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Which one did I pick up? Durability, whatever. 
It doesn't matter. Fairly simple to just kind of walk it through. <laughs> Not sure what the point of the wooden slabs were. Hello? Pressure plate? No? Okay then. I see. Okay. This is where I go for the Google Frog. Yeah. Then I'll take the gem, please. There we go. <laughs> of course. Uh, you can just go around us. Thank you. As long as there's not another one, we're fine. But there's probably not. Uh, it's very much a ha ha. Oh! <laughs> Wait, that did nothing. Okay. I, it, it hit me and I just pushed it. That was weird. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a shrine. I've brought this all the way here. You who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Here we are. Another blessing. So what's this going to be? I, okay, sometimes it doesn't know. I accept that I've pressed A for some reason. You hear it sa make the sound, which is even more bizarre when that happens. to head back out. What is this pin for? Oh no. What, what, what did I forget about? Oh, there's something up there. Interesting. It's raining as I approach. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, there's just a Korok up here. Why did I have this marked? Uh, like this. Someone wants it. There we go. Have to look at that for a second. So I had this marked for some reason. Someone told me at some point to go to this mountain. It's not because there's a camp down there, is it? Probably not. You should be able to see it on the... No, not really, though, I guess. I went through all the quests like information of what I have currently and I didn't see anything. Of course there's one of you here that just makes this annoying. Uh, is it going to be three of you guys around here actually? 
There's another one up there. There's another one this way. Because I know in Breath of the Wild there was an interesting one of like the three brothers of them or whatever it was called. Where uh, Hinoxes, not Stanoxes, and one of them had a orb that you had to take somewhere. Though it would have been up over there where the tower is for one of them. You had to take the three orbs that they had. Yeah, that's what it was. Korok here. On, like, this one, which is so annoying. Well, I mean, actually not that bad. Because I can just get back up to up it pretty easily. <laughs> Right? Whoop. And standing here, I'm not getting attacked. That's fine. It's better to not be attacked. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> where's this Yiga clan stuff supposed to be? There's an enemy there. It could be, I guess, along this ridge. Huh. I'm just gonna go to Kakariko. Maybe something's happened there. Oh. Wait a second. No, that's how it always was. Right? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Has he been there the whole time? Are you... <sighs> what? Oh, phew, it's just you, partner. I should have known you'd take this midday mid hour to your advantage and sneak up on me. <laughs> My feathers really are ruffled, aren't they? Oh, no. You about spooking me isn't about what I'm talking about. Or you spooking me isn't... isn't yeah, although that did number on me, too. She, I mean, Princess Zelda was. Princess Zelda, she was kidnapped. Mm. Have you heard of the Yiga partner? They're a gang of lowlifes who worship an evil entity and plot against Princess Zelda. Uh? Now they claim that they've kidnapped her. What's more, they're not even worried about being found. In fact, they sent a message in the newspaper. We have taken Zelda to the carved-out heart of the Towering Twins. Car okay. Understandably, Miss Tracy is all worked up over this news. Hmm. Came here because the word twins made me think of the Dueling Peak Stable. If I haven't found any clues so far. There must be something. Huh? Partner, we can allow the trips and warbles of evil to go unanswered. Okay. Carved out heart? That really makes me think, uh, maybe here? Because yeah, this is a very strange part. Oh, hello. Those weren't there before. So I found it. Ooh. Okay. Let me try blend again. I mean, this is obviously a Yiga, right? 
Oh, Link, you came to save me. You recognize who I am, right? Zelda? I knew you'd come and save me. Quick, do something to open this cage. Oh. Where'd it go? Only the valiant, golden-haired knight known as Link could move such a sturdy cage like that. Braha, I knew we would lure in some heroic wannabes if we, want, if we use Zelda's bait. We even managed to snare you. Hey, don't worry. Once we find the real Zelda, we'll send you. We'll send her to join you. Promise. All right, everybody. This is definitely the golden-haired golden boy. Get him. Ah oh, well, these guys didn't work. Oh, that did nothing. You guys even doing damage? This isn't good armor, you know. It's really bad armor. You guys should know. Okay, where's the last one? Right there. Oh. Okay. I'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Hey, partner, what are you up to down there? Ah. I've been circling the area for leads. I was sure the word twins in, the vicious, in that vicious letter was referring to dueling peaks. Mm. Now I'm not so sure. Found nothing at all anywhere around here. How about you? Have you figured anything out on your end? <laughs> what? You're saying the Yiga sent us that letter all to lure you into a trap? Or why would the Yiga give a hoot about you, partner? Kind of tooting your own horn there a bit, little bit. <laughs> anyway, getting back on track here, it's a huge relief knowing that Princess Zelda hasn't actually been kidnapped. Mm. We worked together to chase 12 of the stories related to Princess Zelda. Ah. Can't hear the chirps and warbles of my little birds anymore. Seems like this was the final rumor about Princess Zelda. When report this to Tracy, that means that this is probably the last addition to your nest egg, partner. Ooh. Oh. Don't think there's a reporter anywhere else in Hyrule who makes the kind of money we're making. Really goes to show you how much Tracy, I mean, how much the newspaper, values you. Mm. I'm being honest, though. I have a feeling our days of swooping in on scoops are at an end. Oh, some water must have got caught under my goggles. Ah. Really was a blast, partner. All that's left is to head back to the Lucky Clover Gazette and let Tracy know that the job's finished. I'll head off and start packing away in an article about the Yuka Clan scheme. People need to know the truth. Ah. So long. Cool, let's head right there. Aha, uh -huh, our trusted reporter. So Link, Pens filled me in on all the latest. We're relieved that you got managed to get to the bottom of every one of the, those rumors about Princess Zelda. And our paper's circulation is stronger than ever. I'm almost speechless. Oh. Enough of that. You probably just want what I promised. Well, fair enough. Here's what you earned. Mama. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? That will really help you stick to wet surfaces without slipping. Uh. In the end, we didn't actually uncover where Princess Zelda is. But now I know just who to call when we get another good lead. Until then, Link, you keep doing what you do. Your part in all of this will be clear soon enough, I, I bet. Uh. As a pen, well, I've given him some time off with pay. Well deserved, too. He did a lot of reporting. To tell him, hey, you say something nice to your partner after all this? I think I put him on the spot, Link. He looked like I mean, an odd way and flew off with barely a sore long. He's right in the middle of writing a news article, too. Can't say I know what that was about. He's bottling something up, maybe. What? Got to get to training and improve myself. It's the only way to stay ahead. Huh? Headed a place called, what's it? What's it? Watchers? Wazas? Some kind of bluff. It's at the edge of Hyrule Ridge, the south. Famous bard. Ooh. I think I know then. It was impulse by <laughs> didn't feel very my sisters or pen. Uh. Washer's bluff right here. Have I been kind of in the area? 
And I'll just go from here. Oh, I didn't get to see the whole outfit equipped at once. Uh, obviously, we don't know what the full bonus is. It's interesting. Okay, that's definitely where he's going to be. I see him. Aha. Cool. Don't know what this is about, but we're going to go f say hi to him. Hmm. Thought there'd be at least some clue, but there's nothing. Hmm? Oh, hey, partner. Didn't think I'd be running into you here. Did you hear how well the articles investigating the rumors of Princess Zelda did? Apparently folks really enjoyed them. I think they were able to reveal the truth behind these stories. It was thanks to you. Ah, <laughs> uh, you think so too, partner? <laughs> My zeal for the truth behind the story is what got us to the, to the answers, that's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> uh, who are we kidding? We both know that you were the one who did most of the heavy lifting, partner. Without you, I wouldn't have gotten all the facts for our stories. Hard to look at myself in the mirror, reason realizing that. Ah. It'll be good for me to relax in this place. Famous Bard perfected his craft here, studying the songs of this land. Besides, our editor, Tracy, she told me to take some time off. I'll be staying right here and look out across the land, just like that Bard. I'll get in touch with my reporting instincts. Mm. Then you bet I'll get my talons on a huge scoop that will knock you flat on your tail feathers, partner. You just wait. Oh. So I'll leave that froggy armor with you for now. Huh. What, you think it wouldn't fit me? Oh. Don't you worry, I could squeeze into that any time. Okay, so this is it? Can you say anything else now? Ah. Famous Bard wants to perfect his craft in this place. Stay right here, okay. Yeah. You know, I'll be back in action someday, partner. One half of a great team, just wait and see. Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah. I mean, at least they're referencing Cass a little bit. That was his name, right? The fact that he's not in this game is very disappointing. Like, he's not, like, not even just, like, retired in the village or something. He's just missing completely. It, it's one of those things that make you think that this game doesn't care about Breath of the Wild? Or, or anything, like, uh, it's one of those details that make this game make no sense. Like, with all the missing, uh, have I been there? No, I'll go for that while I'm talking, I guess. Uh, like, all, all the missing guardian remains, or the divine beasts, Sheikah Towers, or any mention of it, even. Like, there's a couple references, and that's it. Which is just weird. The kids who would have been alive during the some of the ending of it, they don't remember, they don't believe it, either. Which is ridiculous. Huh. <sighs> The time, the timeline stuff for this game makes no sense. I mean, the best I could tell, say, I could see is that it's not connected to any other game other than Breath of the Wild. But that even then, it just flat out ignores. Hello down there. Some of the Breath of the Wild parts. Other times it doesn't, but some of it it does. Okay, how do I do this one? I see. Ooh, we have a hook. Oh, wait, that's how we're gonna we're gonna do it differently this time. Okay. See if I can slide this under. No. Can I? Oh. Well, that works, I guess. I'll try. Do I need another one? No. No, I shouldn't. That should be well way more than enough. Putting President Hudson here too. Can't stay on you forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right. I'll let go. Yeah, I didn't budge at all. <laughs> How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I never thought of it. All right, let's come secure while he's still standing. Mm. 
perfect. With her help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> so you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Uh. And from your premium collection, it's a mushroom. Ah. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. With that, I'm off. So yeah, I've talked about this game kind of ignoring all the other games, all the other Zelda games, basically deeming them non-canon to this game's story. Uh, the biggest obvious part of that, that from that is the fire. Oh no, I have, I have a fire rod even. There we go. Does that not count? Can I get an updraft, please? Because oh, a lot of it's in the water. Hmm. So it won't burn. Hey, does, does lightning work in this scenario? Probably not, right? No. Can you just walk right through it? Yes. Kind of. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the biggest example for what, like why the rest of the series doesn't count is that the past that we're seeing glimpses of through cutscenes and such, where Zelda is, is playing out two different game stories at once. Ish. In like an alternate version. It, it's doing obviously uh, Ocarina of Time with the whole Ganondorf stuff. And everyone getting together to stop him. Sure. And sealing him away and, and all that. Some time travel involved. Uh, but other than that, it's also playing Skyward Sword. With him being... Im them call saying it's the imprisoning war. is a big one. Because of the imprisoned. And all of that stuff. It's... It is being both games' stories at once, retelling them. And if those two games don't exist in this timeline because of that, none of the rest of the time the the games could, because of how the timeline works. Or I should say, worked past tense. Because it's different now. Stacking a path. Okay, what's this? Uh, okay, this is very obvious. Wait, can I just ascend? What's above us? Wait, why would I go? Why would? Oh, there's a. I see. Somewhere like here, maybe. I can always back out fairly easily. Oh, do I have to be right here? Even then, that's reachable from the ground. <laughs> sure, this chest is easy to get to. Uh, so yeah, if this game is only canon to Breath of the Wild, it's very obvious that they're kind of redoing or restarting the series in a way. None of the other games count. Little sad, of course. I need to... I understand the puzzle now. Okay, that makes sense. I need to be able to grab it from above. I don't suppose I can grab it. Already, I can already grab it. Okay, I could have done it differently than that. I could have attached that, that block to it first. Oh, and once we put it on top, can I attach it partially like that? Yes. Alright then. Nice and easy. Uh, can I just climb this? No. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, and I can just ascend through it by coming over here. <laughs> oh, this puzzle is weird. If I just get, like, right here, I'll go all the way through. <laughs> Stacking a path. I mean, that one is probably actually what you're supposed to do. Not, 
I was gonna jump on top of it from ascending through the cage. Uh, so yeah, you can you can easily like all the references to previous games and whatever you can take up at those up as references for the player, or if you want it to be still fitting in with the timeline stuff, echoes from the previous timelines pa coming over from whatever reason that we might get be given at some point about how somehow this is still canon to the rest of the series, even with if that would make no sense. Oh, look, it gave me a path out. That's convenient. Uh, there's a little ruined town or ruined structure. Uh, looks like there's a Korok nearby. <laughs> oh, it's sad that I can tell. Right? Ooh, I don't see the... There's a plank. And just... Oh, it's... There we go. Slot it in. There we go. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, with them kind of ignoring the previous timelines and pre other games, it like in this way, it really makes it feel like they're not gonna go back to those gameplay styles of the old 2D and the old 3D, which is not really old 2D, but like the, the, the 2D versus the 3D that the series used to be, and instead are just moving forward, never to go back and revisit, well, I mean, they'll remake some of those games, I'm sure, I don't know, I don't know why I'm caring about that, but I, I doubt they'd ever make a new 3D Zelda, like the old ones. Maybe a 2D, but because of that, it's 2D instead, but even then, probably not. Even though everyone would like that, would very much enjoy it. There's a Korok there that wants to go down into the pit. There's, a, there's another shrine off that way, I thought. Hmm. Uh, let's see where this Korok wants to go, I guess. Maybe I can just throw him down. Oh, you want to go that way. I mean, that is kind of the direction of a shrine, I think. So I guess I'll take you. I don't have a reason not to. Oh, look, there's a car. Okay, here we go. All right, we have you attached on the front. Keep forgetting about that. You can take out those wolves. Scare them off. Kind of convenient. Did you cook the meat? Okay. Didn't realize you were, you were going to do that. Oh, there's a shrine. I see it now. Uh, go ahead and just attack that. Or not. That's fine. You do get recharged way faster on a vehicle than if I just try to do it randomly in a cave. And yep. Two Korok seeds. At some point I'll go use those. Uh, I don't really think I have enough of them at the moment, though, to think about using them. Let's go in the shrine. Well-timed cuts. I see. I mean, okay, good. It didn't give me the jingle. Oh, you. If I cut that, is it gonna come back? I assume so. There's a spawner above it. What is? 
What is it wanting from me? I mean, it says stuff about timing, which makes you think about uh, pausing. We're well, not pausing. Uh, just kind of hold this here and then drop it. And then reverse. There we go. Yeah, what's any of this have to do with timing anything? <laughs> so I guess to be fair, I don't know what my objective is. <laughs> Maybe there's a key in this chest. In which case, wh what's there anything to do about timing? <laughs> oh. There's another whole room. Wait, how do I get through this door? Looks like it needs a key. <laughs> Which means there's something else in here that I need to deal with. Oh, right over there. I see it. <laughs> you can drop off. And I'm sorry, what? Oh yeah, this ba it's back there. Okay. Come over here weigh this down for me. All the way on the edge if you can. Because this needs to go fairly far. Okay. Still, whoop, still don't know what it has to do with timing. Small key. And there's no way I'm getting most of it out through this door. Maybe the platforms, but that's it. Okay, what do we have here? We have this, which is just falling, so I need to catch it, presumably. And we have the... Okay. Oh, is this the point? Wait, no, 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 don't do it like that. No, 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 no. It should be... Push it. Pull it this way. There we go. That was the point. But maybe I cheesed the other room? <laughs> or something? <laughs> See, this one makes sense for the well-timed cuts. The other ones really didn't. Just about kind of placing platforms before you cut the rope. A little unclear that how that would make sense for the name. Alright, is there anything really here that I care about doing? Not really. Uh, let's go look at some armor. Okay, the froggy hood. Let's get this out. I really want to know what its set bonus is.
we go. Okay, what else can I just upgrade right now? Well, obviously, the amiibo stuff. I do have... I did get a bunch of star fragments recently. Uh, so, let's start just working on it. Do I have enough for the Luminous? Maybe. Probably not. But maybe. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't have just worked on the pants. <laughs> it's not amount of Luminous Stones. Okay, well... Ah, the Wild Set. I see. Uh, let's hold off on that for now. Okay, surprisingly, I have most of these maxed out. Like, what am I missing? So, I have the sky... Okay, so I have... I need 25 more opals. Great. Uh, and I just need luminous stones. I need a lot of luminous stones, though, to be fair. Oh, and I need Hinox Guts, I guess, for this set. And, and this set is mostly the Energetic Rhino Beetles. Which is annoying. Uh, we should go f after the, the full of that, actually. Because we should have enough, whatever, to get to Tier 2 of the Pants as well. And everything else currently can't do anything with because I need who knows what. <laughs> Lots of stuff. So I can work on... I, I have very few gems left. I should not work on those. Uh, especially since they're going to be very... lot. They're going to need a lot. I guess I could go for this. Though again, these don't really... aren't really super useful. <laughs> I'm more just upgrading them because why not? Because they don't give you any set bonus stuff, I don't uh... think. So there's not really a huge point to upgrading these. Well, I just keep wanting more and more diamonds. It's a good thing you could buy them. Oh, and it requires star fragments. Okay, good, because I've got too many all of a sudden. Not even sure how that happened. Also, some, like, oh, I need zone knight. That's what I need for some of these. I also need to find whatever the other parts of this armor set. Hmm. So you have a lot of armor pieces that I... Well, a lot of them can't get upgraded, to be fair. Uh, a lot of them need very specific items. I guess I should write down that I've completed most of these armor sets. And I just need... A lot of Luminous Stone. Cool. Okay, so what's the set bonus for this? Slip proof. That makes sense. I would have preferred, like, climb speed up, but whatever. And then these are just going to be attack up. So I can get an extra level of attack up by wearing any of these. Oh, that's the wild. Okay. I mean... That's interesting. What is this one? Charge attack up, stamina up. Pretty good. It's, cra it's crazy how many things give you night speed up. But no, nothing gives you day speed up, I don't think. That doesn't give you anything for a set bonus. 